game on. Welcome back to Hitman Blood Money. Today's episode, Till Death Do Us Part. We're back in Mississippi, and this time we're infiltrating a wedding. Because everybody wants to invite the local <laughs> assassin to a wedding. It's very cheerful that way. February 17th, 2005. Hark, a knock at the door. Ah, uh, uh, you can't have that. I've not used a gun this whole game. Thanks. Hmm. Code red. You forgot your tip. That's all right. I insist. On the table by the bathroom. <laughs> bye bye. Okay, was the second shot necessary? <sighs> Hello, 47. One Good job for shooting the messenger. Margot Leblanc has married the leader of the Blue Claws. Save it. They were just married. Just go. Simple mission. Kill the father of the bride, kill the bridegroom, and make sure the bride doesn't get harmed in any way. So, all we gotta do is infiltrate. Plantation house there. See this uh, poor drunk staggering here? We're gonna need his party invitation. We're just gonna have to wait for him to uh, come over here and take a little nap. Ever so slowly. As a tip, this particular drunk sets the entire premise for this level. This level is basically a waiting game. It requires patience and lots of it. If you get hasty in any way, you're going to mess this level up 100% of the time. That wouldn't be bad, except every person on this map is carrying a gun. You will be gunned down in a matter of minutes. The guards carry shotguns, the party cast carry sh six shooters. So, the key is patience. That's all you need to do. If you're patient enough, you can get this level on Silent Assassin almost all the time. Hell, you don't even need to take anyone's clothes. I can ignore the guy's suit entirely and just go as is. I'm just going to ignore his suit. I'm going to go as is. It's going to be a little awkward considering how everybody else is dressed, but I don't care. It's all about patience. Hey, you fake. I thought it was. You don't like a suit? So we're going to start off by getting access to Pappy's room. Which... It's on the second floor, and you gotta get past a couple guards. This patroller here, he goes by. Trying to make the groom look bad. Hell yes, I don't like the groom. The groom owes me money. He's gotta sneak past the guard, go up the stairs. Actually, we're gonna go to the top floor and prepare to get the groom later, because there's a bit of a bomb placement to perform. But again, this level is all patience. It's pretty simple in execution, but it's very difficult if you get hasty. It'll become very costly. You want to put a bomb on this wench here, because this wench is tied to a chandelier that hangs over the piano, and the groom will play with the piano. However, we're not going to detonate that bomb and kill the groom, until we've dropped Pappy. We're taking out the father of the bride first. Because after you drop the groom, the guards would go a little crazy because bombs are noisy. However, you can get Pappy in his bedroom pretty easily. Because he's going to show up at some point, sit on the chair in front of me, and it's a matter of coming out of the closet and strangling him. And then, you can go for the groom. Pretty simple. Problem is, Pappy over here is going to take a while to get here. All you have to do is wait. 
and wait. Okay, the wedding's officially about to start. The preacher just had the uh, bell rang. Now what will that do is all the guests in the house will start walking out here toward the wedding pavilion where the wedding will be performed. During the wedding themselves, the guests will eventually fire their guns off at the end and cheer, which you need to be careful when that happens. It's a bit of a gamble. I noticed that the game seems to have a bit of a problem with that particular part of it. It seems to like the glitch out there. I mean, I've had it happen a couple times where they'd shoot the guns off and I'd have people run to me looking like I've done something. Even though I wasn't armed. But we can mostly ignore that. Because we're still just waiting for Pappy to uh, come to his final rest. Though the guests are outside, the guards are still where they should be. This is why we kill Pappy first. If you kill Pappy second after the groom, this waiting process gets a little longer. Because then you'll have to wait for the guards to calm down from the chandelier explosion, or kill the groom in another method. But here he comes. All right, he's here. We're gonna wait for him to sit down. Okay. Cough, cough. All right, we're gonna drag him into the closet just in case someone comes in here. I don't know if people do, but again, the gunshots later. Be very careful, he's easy to get caught on the closet door because he's so fat. Gotta make sure he's all in. They're gonna shoot their guns in a minute. Close the door. Make your way back to where you came. Remember the guard downstairs. Hear the gunshots? Those are the party guests celebrating. Make to the bathroom. Wait for the guard to go by again. If the guard sees you, and if you get to the bathroom quick enough, he'll just think, oh, hey, whatever, just uh, some wacko is hanging around where he shouldn't be. It's not the worst thing in the world. See? Sorry, sir, I'll be going. I have completely at complete accident. I, I, I didn't know which bathroom was which. My mistake. However, I'll get away with that. Accidents happen. He'll go back to his patrolling. It's now a simple matter of waiting for the groom to go where he needs to go. See? He's patrolling. Okay. We'll try to join the wedding, but it doesn't really matter at this point. Oh, look! They've been hitched. That's fine. Technically, they've been hitched before this even started, because this uh, particular wedding's a put-up job. Now we just need this... Guy to go to the uh, piano where he can uh, meet the light. Be very careful when you put that bomb, by the way. There are three chandeliers you can place it on. The one above the piano, the one above the bride when she stands there, and the one above the staircase for Pappy. You want the one above the piano, which is up the stairs on the back of the house toward the left. That's facing from... The uh, map no, facing north with up. So. Hey, 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 come on, Bye! 
Splat. Congratulations, you're now a widow. I'll be going. Can't go around the chair. Neither can you. Oh, he could, huh? How come I couldn't? Be happy. I saved you the uh, dread of what that relationship could have brought you. I don't know if it would have, but eh. Whatever. She's alive, the father of the bride is dead, and the groom is dead. Done. They can find his corpse because it's a total accident, and no one's looking for Pappy anyway. So it's a simple matter of just getting back on the boat. And look at that. Total kills, one. Close combat kills, one. Accidents, one. No witnesses? Silent frickin' assassin. And that is Until Death Do Us Part. Pretty simple level, assuming you're patient. If you rush, uh, you're in for a very bad time. So, the next level is another level that's relatively simple. It's called House of Cards. It's when we get to go to Las Vegas. Which, it's a, it's a fun level. It's one of my favorites. Provided, of course, I have a sniper rifle. We have a new challenge here because I can't bring weapons, but... Until then, I've been Cloak. Thank you for watching. Have a good day.